Cyclic hydrocarbons, these are hydrocarbons that form ring structures rather than straight chains. When you name them, you determine the number of carbons in the ring. and that becomes your root. What becomes your suffix depends on whether or not it's single, double, or in some cases triple bonds inside the ring. And the suffix then would be ain, ein, or ein. And you have to include the word cyclo before the root. So it's cyclo, root, and then your suffix. If you have side groups, then we also have to number the side groups appropriately. If there's only one side group, we don't include a number. It's assumed to be carbon number one. So do not include a number. So no number required if only one side group. In some cases, preference is given to the group coming first alphabetically. If the numbers end up being the same from either direction. And if there's a double or triple bond, the numbering has to start there. So still, uh, the unsaturated bond, the unsaturated bond takes precedence. So that's where you start numbering if there's a double bond or triple bond. So let's look at our structures. Here we've got four carbons in a ring and they're all single bonds. So this is cyclo, but for four, single bonds means anes, alkane. So cyclobutane. Now the next drawing is a combination of a line and a structural diagram only because it's a lot simpler to, and neater to draw a line structure for your cyclic portion of your compound and it's just less cluttered. So how many carbons do we have starting at the top? One, two, three, four, five. So there's five carbons actually contained in the ring. So that would mean the ring is cyclo, pent, and there's no double bonds, so it's ain. And we have this side group over here, this methyl group. So this is methyl cyclobutane. We don't need to put a prefix because there's only one carbon on the side group. If there were two, let's say there's two methyl groups. So again, it's cyclopropane, cyclopentane, cyclopentane, but there's two methyl groups. So we need to give them a number 
there's one, there's the other. Start numbering from one of them. So we're going to make this one carbon number one. If we went this way, this would be on carbon number five. But if we go in this direction, it's carbon number two. So we have one, two, dimethyl cyclopentane. So the cyclopentane says we've got a carbon ring that's five carbons long, single bonds. The dimethyl tells us we've got two methyl groups, and the one and the two tell us one's on carbon one, one's on carbon two. So drawing, cyclohexene. So it's because it's cyclo, we know it's ring structure. Because it's hex, we know there's six carbons. And then the suffix tells us that there's a double bond. So six carbons, so it's going to look like a hexagon if you do a line structure. And there's a double bond, so you can put your double bond in. Because there's no side groups, no other double bond, it's carbon 1 where it starts. So we don't have to indicate that in the name. It's understood. Um, if I have 3-methyl cyclohexene, I know that my methyl group is down here. That's my 3-methyl cyclohexene. Just one point to add for naming and drawing. If a side group has more carbons than the ring structure, the ring becomes a side group. And the straight part is the parent. And when you do this, it becomes cyclo. And then how many carbons? Y, L. So that's how you name the cyclic portion as a side group. Cyclo carbon chain length root part, and then YL. So if we look at this, we've got a 5-carbon, a 5-carbon ring structure, and we have this longest carbon chain. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight carbons in our longest carbon chain. So cyclic portion smaller, so our parent is actually oct, and they're all single bonds. So our parent is octane, And our cyclic portion is on carbon 2. So it's 2 cyclo pentyl octane. 2 cyclo pentyl octane. So there's a cyclic pent 5 carbons on carbon number 2 of an octane chain. Properties. Physical properties for cyclic compounds, cyclic uh, hydrocarbons are 
They're insoluble in water because they're nonpolar, except for cyclopropane, actually. So they're insoluble in water, it can't form hydrogen bonds with water, and their boiling points are slightly higher than their straight chain, same number of carbons. So cyclo pentane is a little bit higher than pentane itself.